Today I'd like to talk about palm control. A lot of the times, people pick up the fingers from the bottom of the segment here. This part between the palm and the fingers. So they do this. And that's create a lot of tension in the palm, in the tendon here. What I would like you to do is to do the opposite. Instead of picking the fingers up really high from here, which is unnecessary, we push the fingers down. It's not for support, of course. So the palm is not falling. In fact, you can see when I push, the palm is slightly raised. I didn't do this. I didn't like try to pick up the palm with my arm. In fact, when you push, and when you're not holding the energy after you play, the palm would naturally raise on its own. So. Instead of doing this, I find it really hard to do so. So, think about it. When we only play one note, it's fine, right? You can pick up hitting anywhere. Actually, it's hard to play for accuracy. Um, but in our playing, there are always more than one note. There are always notes before and then notes after. So we have to take care of everything. So even when we're playing one note, we need to have more awareness in the palm. And then, after we gain the palm control, we can do the weight transfer more easily, and then incorporate the arm, the rotation, and then the shoulders, and our body. One thing you can do uh, to gain more palm control, which is actually um, not uh, something we normally would feel or do during our daily activities is to uh, try something like this. Last time, uh, I think in my previous uh, video, I talked about hand grip and we use this to um, practice, right? To have the hand grip lightly holding this and then while maintaining the hand grip, we can move our wrist and arms. Now this time we want to gain more awareness in the palm, to feel more of the palm control. So we have to, so we have to train um, the palm muscle. So you can use this. This is actually to um, um, gain more palm strength, hand grip strength. So try to squeeze this right with more of the palm, not just the fingers, right? So more of the palm. Then you can feel, oh, we're using this part of the muscle. And there's a lot of times that we do, especially when we play part, we need more of the palm muscle. Even when we're playing with one note, or chromatic scale, working well, anything, we need more palm control. So that's it for today, and until next time, this is Therese Wong from Therese Wong's Piano Studio.